Hello everyone, the Crystal Penguin here, and welcome to episode 6 of Pokemon Gold and Lost episode. We got our first gym badge, our first evolution, and a new team member. God, last episode was so freaking eventful, it was crazy. Crazy. So crazy we're fighting Liz with her Nidoran female. See, again, there's some variety, it's nice seeing variety. Uh, but this variety we cannot fight with our Mareep and Bellsprout alone. We will need to call upon Quilava one more time. Okay, maybe a lot more times in this adventure, to be honest, but still. And don't you growl at me. I'm gonna growl at you. Grrrr. Grrrr. See? You don't like it, do you? So don't, don't growl at me, because I don't like it. We don't... Jesus Christ, what did I just freaking say, Nidoran? Female, what did I just freaking say? You know what? Screw it. I'm killing you. Gone. Boom. That's that's what you get for growling at me. I don't like you for growling at me, so please don't ever growl at me again, okay? God, Liz. Like, jeez. Apparently, Murray wouldn't have been that useful in the gym battle, because it still hasn't learned an electric type move. Though I'm pretty sure it learns one at level 9. Hey! It's Urtata! I'm so happy I found Urtata. They're my favorite Pokemon ever. And I missed. Great. Thanks for missing, Marie. Thanks a lot. Come on, keep killing it. Keep killing it. You can kill a four Pokemon that's four levels lower than you, yeah. Good Murray. Who's a good Murray? You are. Got. Yeah, got a potion. You know, I honestly would like to have a pet like goat or sheep in real life. I think that would be very nice. I'm more leaning towards goat more, though. I think I'd really want to have a pet goat in real life. I mean, have you seen them? Like, well, we have a petting zoo where I live that has baby goats all the time and they're the cutest things ever and oh my gosh and they like they don't make as much noise as dogs I still love dogs I mean come on but goats are better they don't make as much noise as dogs they just eat grass they their poop they, their poop isn't as bad as dogs so it's harder to pick up because it's smaller and so there's that so you have to couldn't really have it inside I went Thundershock! Yay! Well, actually, you, you can have it inside, just no carpets, basically. <laughs> uh, so now we finally have a. Marie has a useful move. I'm so happy. Now Marie can actually take on things. And not just spam tackle. It's so nice and yay, pretty water. I like water. Especially drinking it. Drinking water is delicious. As long as it's not full of poisonous chemicals, then then it's not good. I wonder if my Bellsprout can take out this level 6 Bellsprout. Maybe I might have to wrap it. Be like, yo, yo, I'm a Bellsprout. You're a Bellsprout. We all Bellsprouts here in one small world. We have big feet, or we have big mouth, but small feet as hell. Got a... a <laughs> I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. I'm not good at rhyming. Great critical, Bellsprout. I bet you're so proud of yourself that you got that critical hit. Like, jeez, that critical hit was so good. I'm... Ugh. I'm just taken back by how much that critical hit did. It did two damage to me. God, a whole two damage. It's so freaking much. I bet you're happy, you Dame Bell Sprout. But he's dead, which is good. He also is good by Bell Sprout leveled up. Yay! Uh, fat guy, what do you got to say? Whoa! You made me lose that fish. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I bet it's frustrating being a fisher and then losing a fish, but if you're catch all you're catching is stupid magic harps, I mean you might as well lose it. 
Because honestly, Magikarp's... I did not mean to use Tackle, Jesus Christ. That's gonna take up some time, but it's not like it's that big of a deal. Uh, that was a crit, really, Marie? You can do better than that. Yeah, I don't- I've been fishing once and I didn't even catch anything. It was when I was really younger. My, uh, my dad, like, my, my whole family, like, were on this dock. I remember there was a really good ice cream place on the dock, too. And we fished for, like, five minutes, because my brother, sister, and I were getting really bored, because we, we don't have that big... Holy shit, he's level 15?! That doesn't matter, all he has a splash anyways. We, we didn't have long attention spans, to be <laughs> to say the least. And, you know, for me, fishing is really boring. You just sit around and do nothing. You hope that a fish catches your hook or something. Which, you know, for me, personally, it's just boring. I have nothing against it, and, you know, if you like it, enjoy it, go do it. I just find it boring. I'd much prefer doing other stuff than fishing because you know it's just that's just me I just it's just like golf for me I, I hate golf because it's just so boring but if you like it go ahead play it I've nothing against it if that's what you want to do as long as you're not hurting anyone or anyone including yourself or other people or prop like anyone's property or animals or wildlife if you're not doing that then go for it do whatever makes you happy that's just my opinion. Sploosh! Or if you are hurting someone, make sure they consent to it, because maybe, you know, they're into getting hurt. Maybe they're into that kinky shit like you. Oh god, I don't freaking know. Oh, look at this guy. Here's friends out. Polywag. CS is Polywag I was talking about that you can find only in crystal in that area. Isn't it great? I think it's quite cute, though I think Polly. Polytoad is the only evolutionary line that's worth it in this early game. When Gen Gen 4 happened, uh, Polywrath is quite useful because you know Gen 4 is a physical spl special split that made it so like Fire Punch is a physical move rather than a special move. I mean, it makes sense. You're punching something. It should be physical, or, like Waterfall's physical, for instance. Another Polywag. I'll just kill you like I killed your friend or brother or whatever it was. No, don't put me to sleep, you stupid tadpole. God. We should kill- God, I'm glad- Hmm. We should kill all the tadpoles. Because, you know, they grow up to- It doesn't matter what tadpole they are. They're gonna grow up to be Wally Wogs, and we can't have that. It like, this Polywag, I don't care if you evolve it to a Polywrath or a Polytoad. It's gonna be a Wallywog. All frogs become Wallywogs when they die because those things- Wallywogs are the devil. They are the devil reincarnated as a freaking frog. At least in the first two Pikmins, the third one they're pretty pathetic. Because Rock-type Pikmin, they can't hurt them whatsoever. So yeah, whenever- I don't- I guess then you don't want to kill frogs. Because they'll all turn into Wally Wog. Ugh, the struggle, but then they'll die eventually. So we just like, <laughs> what would we do to end the Wally Wog species as a whole? Uh, Marie, was that a nice nap you had? I'm glad you woke up from your nap and all refreshed to kick some ass. Now Marie's level 11. I believe it's one level under uh, Bell Sprout. Sploosh. Yeah, you fat guys getting splooshed. I'm good. I'm a good angler, but I, I even better at a trainer. I pro. I can disagree. I'm gonna disagree. I doubt you're a very good trainer because all you have is probably a freaking water type, a golding. Oh, that's something we haven't seen before. It's okay, I guess. And how are you a good angler if you've only caught one fish? Like, how can you be a good Fisher, you only caught one goddamn fish! So that tells me that you're not a very good fisher, so that means you're not a very good trainer either! Goddamn piece of crap fisherman who only catches one Pokemon and sucks. Yeah. 
That's all I have to say about him being a piece of crap. I'm gonna keep Marie in the front for now because we're gonna enter a rock, a place filled with lots of rock types. Oh, mom's calling. How are you? I found an item. Okay, it's my PC. Okay, it's probably something shitty and stupid, just like you. Oh, wrecked. I'm just kidding, mom. Uh, I saw an item up here, so let's get it. We got a great ball. Isn't that great? Very much great. Very much great. Great grammar there. Oh, it's another Marie. Hey, Marie. How you doing? I'm just gonna kill you. That's okay, because I don't want you to live. I, God damn it, everyone's growling at me. I told you to stop. I told you I don't like getting growled at. Let's see how much Thundershock does. It's probably nothing. Actually, that wasn't bad. It's about as much as Tackle. And he's paralyzed. Which if this was Gen 6? Electric types can't get paralyzed? I can't remember if it's 6 or 5. That makes it so electric types can't get paralyzed. Which is kind of dumb considering like stun spore paralyzes and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure electric types can't get paralyzed in one of the newer games. And grass types can't be- you can't use like powders like stun spore, poison powder. That stuff on grass Pokemon, I'm pretty certain, but I'm not entirely sure. That's a... That glance it's in? Yeah, shut up. You're just dumb trainer. Who doesn't know about anything. You're, you're, you're just like a picnicker or whatever. Camper. Same thing. Picnicker, camper. Oh, you gotta eat our end mail. How cute. Let's see if your poison type can resist the thunder. Actually, I don't have thunder. I just have thunder shock. But it's still thunder in the name. I mean, it should be lightning shock, to be honest, because thunder is just the sound, so it's just like... Mr. Mime should be resistant to it, getting sound... He has to be able to soundproof. It makes sense, to me at least. Ah, oh, you bastard, you survived. And I probably... I have a berry. Yeah, I don't have any potions. Maybe we should buy some. Our store is 10 HP. Oh god, he shot me with his lasers. Jeez. Can't believe he shot me with his lasers. Hopefully this won't kill. Oh god, that was close. I'm glad it didn't kill, so now I can kill him and I get experience. Yay. You gotta be freaking kidding me. How did I not level up after that? That is bull. Is there anything even up here? I don't know. Nope, nothing, just grass. Ass grass. Uh, God, speaking of ass. Yeah, and after that battle, Murray grew to level 13, but I mean, really, how would it not? Uh, let's try and avoid this guy and go to the Pokemon Center because I know one's just down there. But stupid guy wanted to get in my way. How rude of him. Stupid youngster in your shorts and your weak ass. Oh, he has a Wooper! Okay, that makes it all better. Wooper's another new Pokemon in this area. It's pure water type. It evolves into water ground. He's really good. They're really defensive. Not cool to have a bell sprout. They're pretty good. I just don't really want to use one because I have a different water type in mind that I want to use. Yeah, spoilers! I'm going to be using a water type. Oh my god, I just ruined my entire team to you guys. You know everyone, there's not going to be a single surprise who I'm gonna use on my team at all. No, I'm just kidding. Darn it, I thought I could win. Well, you can't, because you suck. Stupid youngster. Hey, what have you got to say? How would you like to have this? A tasty nutritious slowpoke tail. For you, right now, one million dollars. Uh, sure, yeah. Tish, I thought kids these days were loaded. Not that loaded. What kid... I was actually talking to, like Donald Trump when he was a kid. He got a small loan of a million dollars or something like that. Cause I don't got a million dollars. I guess it would be a million yen. I don't, that's what the currency is based off of. And why is the egg getting healed? That makes no sense. I don't know what a million yen is. I don't know, like a hundred thousand dollars or something. I don't know. Uh, yes, there is a great ball here. Now isn't that just great? Ooh, there's a spooky little cave coming up soon. Hey, what have you got to say? That badge is from Violet City! You beat Faulkner? 
I'm pretty sure anyone can beat Faulkner. He's pretty weak. Unless you're doing like a chicory a solo run, but even if you were, there'd only be one Pokemon you'd have to freaking worry about, and that'd be his Pidgeotto, because his freaking Pidgey doesn't have a single flying type move. So the only Pokemon you have to worry about for having a weakness to is his freaking Pidgeotto, and it's weak. Uh, okay, that's just. I just sorry for that small little rant. It's just God. Personally, I think Brock was harder than this guy. If you, if you had a Pokemon that was weak, like if you only had a Charmander and nothing else, that, Brock was really tough. If you had a Chikorita and nothing else, this guy's still a pushover. At least, that's what I think. Ah, uh, Spearow. Spearow is so much better than Pidgey, I'd say. If, you're, if you want to use a Flying type, use Spearow over Pidgey. Spearow's just... Is faster, has better attack, learns better attacks. Like, all Pidgey learns is Gust and Wing attack, where Spearow can learn, like, Aerial Ace, Drill Pack, like, so much better attacks. It's just so much worth, more worth it. But I think I subscribe for today's video of Golden Sun. Why do I keep saying Golden Sun? <laughs> I know both games have gold in their name, but it doesn't matter. This is Enza. This is. I'm gonna finish up today's episode of Pokemon Gold in the next episode. We'll go into this cave. See you guys then, bye!